Hello, welcome back. Welcome here at Aura 7 Yoga. You're at Aura 7 Active at Instagram live class from Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST. My name is Francesca. I'm going to be your guide this morning and we're going to get going, get started onto our mats. Grab some props, blocks, straps, always good to have some. And then let's, let's get started in child's pose. Bring the knees wide into the mat. Bring the big toes to touch. Drop the hips down to your heels. Start to walk the arms forward, press the forehead down to the mat. Allow the shoulders to melt down towards the earth, towards the mat. Sink the hips back towards the heels. Open up through the palms, spread the fingers away from each other. Press down through all ten knuckles. Pull the belly into the spine. Gently engage your core, lengthen out from your lower back. Start to reach the fingertips more forward, spreading through the fingers, pressing the knuckles down to the mat. Wrap the tricep muscles down as you spin your biceps up to, the, up to the ceiling. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, audible exhale, let it out, let it go. Again, deep inhale through the nose. Audible exhale, let it out, let it go. Last one, deep inhaling through the nose. Hold it at the top, sip a little more air in. Now keep your lips sealed and exhale out through the nose, creating the same AJA sound in the back of the throat, the same Ujjayi breath, oceanic sound. Deep inhale through the nose and exhale out through the nose, creating the same sound in the back of the throat. And gently keeping the focus inward, gaze up to the fingers, walk your hands to the right. Walk your hands all the way to the left. And come back to center. Rise up into a tabletop position, all fours. Point the toes back. Pull the belly in. And then slowly start to send the right leg back behind you. Point, flex the toes, circle at the ankle a couple of times, circle to the right, circle to the left. And point the right toes back behind you, lift the right leg more from the right inner thigh. Lengthen out from your lower back as you pull the belly button into the spine, shifting the body weight to the right palm, pick up the left palm. Turn the thumb to the ceiling, bicep to the ear, soften the, ear, the shoulder away from the ear, and lift up from your right shoulder, pressing the right palm down to the mat. Take a deep inhale, exhale, bring the elbow and knee to touch underneath your thumb, the chin to the chest. Inhale, come back slowly to your extension, reach like that. Exhale again, elbow and knee to touch. Inhale, slowly come back to extension. Still lift up from the right shoulder. Keep the belly strong. Sweep the left fingertips back. Capture the back foot. Kick into your palm. Roll the left shoulder back. Kick the right heel all the way up. Maybe bring the right heel all the way up and overhead. And exhale, release it down. Come on back into your, into your tabletop position. Go through your cat and cow. Drop the belly, lift the gaze to the sky. Exhale, gaze back to your navel. Come back to neutral tabletop position, pull the belly in and then lift the left leg up and away from the mat. Circle at the ankle, left, right, point flex the toes. Getting all the cracks and pops out from the joints. Point the left toes back, or the, yes, the left toes back. Lift the left leg from the left inner thigh. Pull the belly in and reach your right arm forward, bicep to the ear, thumb towards the sky. Deep, slow inhale as you lengthen out from your lower back. Lift up from the left side shoulder, exhale. Pull the elbow and knee to touch underneath you as you gaze back to your navel. Inhale, slowly with control, come on back to extension. Exhale again, elbow and knee to touch. Inhale, come back to extension. Pause there, bend your back leg, sweep the right fingertips back. Capture the foot, start to kick into your palm. Push the earth away with the left palm and roll the right shoulder back. Good, slowly release. Come on back onto your hands and knees. One more round of cat and cow. Draw the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, gaze back to your navel, round to the spine. Come back into a neutral tabletop position. Walk your hands a couple inch more forward. Spread the fingers, press down through all ten knuckles. Tuck the toes under and lift your hips high to the sky. Down, down. Bend your right knee, release the left heel down to the mat. Then bend your left knee, release the right heel down to the mat. Do that a couple more times. And come on high onto your tippy toes. Stretch out your feet 
Exhale, turn the heels to the back, right corner of the mat. Melt them down. Keep the feet hip distance apart and keep them parallel. Rotating the tricep muscles down to the mat. Spinning the biceps to the ceiling, rooting down through all ten knuckles. Inhale, rise up high onto your tippy toes. Exhale, melt the heels all the way to the back, left corner of the mat. Feel the stretch in the Achilles, in the backs of the legs, in your IT band. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release the heels down. Inhale, lift the heels away from the mat again. Exhale, bend your knees. Hover the hips over the heels. Keep the arms straight, maybe bring gaze forward. Inhale, lift the hips high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Slowly walk your feet all the way behind your wrists. Come on into your ragdoll, in your Uttanasana. Grab onto opposite elbows, shifting the body weight more into your toe mount, stucking the chin to the chest. Allow the whole upper body to melt over your lower body. Focusing on the breath, lengthening the spine. Bringing the hands behind your neck, tuck the chin to the chest and pull the forehead towards the knees. Feel the stretch in the spine, in the back of the neck. Then bring the hands behind your lower back, you know, like the hands pressing the palms fully together as you extend the fist up to the ceiling. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale, release it down. Toe heel your feet together, bring the big toes to touch, your heels to touch. Then slide your hands up onto the shin bone, create a flat spine. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, grow longer through the spine, deep, slow inhale. Exhale, fold all the way forward, bring the forehead down to your shins. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky, rise up, lift up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center, Samasthiri. Inhale, lift up the arms. Exhale, fold forward, keep the core strong, the spine straight as you come all the way down, hinging from the hips. Inhale, come up onto your fingertips and bring the hands to your shins, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms and step back into a high plank pose. We're going to pause here. Bring the shoulders directly over the wrists. Spread the fingers away from each other. Press down to all ten knuckles. Wrap the triceps back. Spin your biceps forward. Engage your thigh muscles and reach the energy back through the heels. Pull the belly into the spine. Gaze down in one spot. Now bring your feet together and roll all the way to the outer arch of the right foot as you lift the left arm high. Vajji stas on a side plank. Lift up from the right side shoulder. Stack the left hip on top of the right. Open up through the chest. And slowly with control, come on back into a high plank position. Hold it here or maybe lower it out to your chaturanga. Press back into a high plank pose and pause. Bring your feet together, roll over to the outer arch of the left foot. Inhale your right arm high to the sky. Open up through the chest with the reach of the arm, lift up from the left side wrist. Reach the energy up to the right fingers. Deep inhale, neck is long. Exhale, come on back, high plank position. Slowly lower down, chaturanga. Then inhale, come into an upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths in your down dog. Focus on the breath. Let go of the thoughts. Stay in the body. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reaching the arms to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, lift up the arms, adding on, finding a side stretch. Right arm down, left arm reaches up and over. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, all the way to the other side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, go close the arms, open up through the chest. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, inch from the hips, come on all the way down. Inhale, lift up your chest. Exhale, step or hop back, go through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back to your downward facing dog. Three breaths again in your down dog. Soften the knees as much as you need. Lengthen out from the spine. Soften the heels down towards the earth. Soften the muscles around the jaw, around the face. Allow the breath to flow in and out through the body. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top. Inhale, or the half failure. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up the arms. Exhale, come, hands come back to your heart. Inhale, lift up the arms. Side stretch over to the right. Left arm reaches up and over. Lift up from the waist. Inhale, back to center. Exhale all the way to the left. 
Inhale back to center. Exhale at the back bend. Go pose the arms. Push the hips forward. Keep the glutes engaged. Inhale back to center and exhale. Fold forward. Inhale, Ardha. Lift up your heart. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back. Float back. Go through your vinyasa. Upper facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg halfway up. Reach the right toes back. Right toes are pointing down, level up. The hips are level. Lifting the right leg more from the right inner thigh. Exhale, bring the knee to your nose. Round through the upper spine. Tuck the chin to the chest. As you inhale, release the right knee down. Make your spine straight. Exhale, gaze back to your navel and lift the right knee up. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull it up. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull it up. One more time. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull it up, hold it there, gaze forward and stab the right leg all the way in between the palms. Keep your back heel lifted, come up onto your fingertips and slowly float the arms by your side, turning the palms down, pull the right hip back, turn the left hip forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, squeeze the tricep and the bicep muscles together. Deep, slow inhale, exhale, release the left palm down and twist as you reach the right arm high. Slow inhale. Pull the right hip back, exhale. Release the right fingertips down to the mat. Turn the back heel down, get ready for warrior one. Then inhale, rise up, lift up the arms, warrior one. Pull the right hip back, turn the left hip forward. Root down through the back heel and feel how your back leg is nice and strong. Now keeping the connection with the back leg, see if you can drop the right thigh just a little bit deeper. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale, keeping the back leg strong, bring the arms by your side, turn the palms forward, and then reach the chest forward. Pull the right hip back as you turn the left hip forward, lengthen through the neck. Soften the muscles around the face, stay with your breath. Deep inhale, and exhale. One more time, deep inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step back into a high plank position, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg comes halfway up. Left toes are pointing down to the mat. Hips are level, lifting the left leg from the left inner thigh. Exhale, pull the knee to your nose, around through the spine, gaze back to your navel. Inhale, tap the left knee down. Straight spine. Exhale, pull it up, gaze back to your navel. Inhale, gaze forward, tap the left knee down. Exhale, pull it up to your chest. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, pull it back up, then hold it here, lift the left knee higher, round to the upper spine, gaze forward, and without a sound, step the left leg all the way forward in between the palms. Come up onto your fingertips, pull the left hip back, right hip forward, lift up the right inner knee away from the mat, and float the arms by your side, turning the palms down to the mat. As you lift up the arms, your left hip wants to swing out to the side, pull it back to the center line, keeping the right leg strong, reaching with the sternum forward. Deep inhale, maybe go a little bit deeper as you exhale. Feel how you created that long energy from the back heel, from the right heel all the way to the crown of the head. Deep inhale, exhale, right palm comes down, left arm goes high, twist. Your left fingers are the extension of the left shoulder and your right heel is pointing straight back behind you as you pull the left thigh bone back into its socket. Deep inhale and twist as you exhale. Release the left finger, it is down, set up the back foot for your warrior one. I like to keep a little bit wider distance, more like a hip distance apart in between my hips, especially for the very first warrior one pose. Now make your belly nice and strong, and inhale, lift up the arms, warrior one. So you're going to start to work the right hip forward and pull the left hip back as you lift up from the waistline. Press the right heel, the back heel down to the mat. Pull the belly in and then see if you can drop the left thigh bone just a little bit deeper. Deep, slow inhale. Exhale, come on down. Deep, slow inhale. Exhale, arms by your side. Turn the palms forward, thumbs out. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And lean forward as you pull the left hip back and turn the right hip forward. Three more breaths here. Checking with the body. From the back heel all the way to the crown of the head. Lift up the left inner knee. Lift up the right inner knee away from the mat. Slow inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat. 
Step back into a high plank pose, lower down, bend the elbows, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Deep, slow, inhale, let it out, exhale. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, step hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, come to a half wheeling, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, lift up the arms, bend the knees, drop the thighs deep, pull the belly in. Squeeze the glute muscles and draw the thighs bones, thigh, thigh bones deeper. Gaze down to your toes and make sure your toes are hanging over the knee line. Now soften the inner shoulders away from the ears and straighten out through the elbows. Feel how you're reaching the energy through the outer armpits into the pinkies. Deep inhale. Exhale, run the arms by your side. Turn the palms down, the thumbs out. Root down to the heels and then see if you can drop the thigh bones just a little bit deeper. Then inhale, reach up the arms, rise up, Urdhva Hastasana. Bring your hands to your heart center, Samastiri. Lift up the left leg. One legged Tadasana, your right leg stays down, your left knee lifts. Then cross the left ankle on top of the right knee. And slowly sit down into your figure four. Flex the left foot to the left knee, pull the belly in. Shift the body weight more back into your right heel, that's your standing leg. Keep the spine long, deep inhale. Maybe start to lean forward as you exhale, bringing those forearms onto your left shin. Stay with your steady breath. Slowly lift up your chest. Lift up the left leg. Reach the arms to the ceiling. Make your standing right leg as strong as you can and slowly start to kick the left heel in front of you without leaning back or without bending your right leg. Deep inhale. Exhale, swing the left leg back behind you. Airplane wings. Soften your standing leg if you need that. Pull the belly and lengthen out from your lower back and point the left pinky toe down to the mat. Slow, steady inhale through the nose. Exhale, release the heads down to the mat. Lift the left leg high to the sky, coming to a standing split pose. Maybe walk the hands a little closer to your right foot. Grab onto your right ankle as you lift the left leg higher. Slowly start to bend your top leg, your left leg, and bring the left knee behind the right knee and start to bend your right knee as well. Come into this Shiva squat, squeezing the left knee to the back of the right leg into your right calf. You can keep the fingertips down to the mat or maybe lift up the hands, bring into a prayer position. Deep inhale, hold it here, exhale. Release the hands down to the mat, inhale your left leg high to the sky, standing split. And as you exhale, this time you're going to bring the left knee to the outside of the right ankle. Good. Then open up the left foot out to the side and then see if you can sit down. Or the Matyandrasana. Your right ankle goes to the outside of the left knee, so the front looks like this. Yep. Your right ankle on the outside of the left knee. Your left heel is on the outside of the right hip. Hug the right knee into your chest. Feel that nice opening in the outer right hip. Bring the right hand behind your back. Hug the right knee in with the left hand or hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. And start to press the inside arch of the right foot down to the mat. Deep inhale and exhale. Come back to center. Release the hands down to the mat. And you're going to come back into a standing split. Lift the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, come to the top of the mat into a forward fold, feet together right at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up your heart, find a halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Chair pose, bend your knees, Utkatasana. Lift up the arms, gaze down at your knees, your toes are hanging over the knee line. Then start to drop the thighs deeper, tucking the tailbone under, pulling the belly in. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. Bring the arms by your side. Lean more forward. Sit down two inches deeper. Start to feel that burn in your thighs. But still engaging the arms. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. And keeping your neck nice and long. Deep inhale. Sit down deeper as you exhale. Inhale. Lift up the arms. Urdhva Hastasana. Straighten out through the legs. Bring the hands to your heart center. Samastiri. 
This time, lift up the right foot. Bring the right knee align with the right hip. Root down to the left leg. Then cross the right ankle on top of the left knee, figure four. Sending the right knee out to the side. Opening up to the right hip. See if you can send the sit bone straight back behind you without twisting in your hips. You can stay here, flat spine, or a bit of flat spine, so to lean forward and bring the forearms onto your right shin. If you can do that, see if you can use that to press your right knee further down towards the mat to open up to the right hip even more. Slowly start to rise back up. Lift up your right knee, then reach the arms to the ceiling. Now make your standing left leg as straight as you can. Pull the belly in without leaning back. Kick your right heel in front of you and lean more forward and up. Deep inhale. And exhale. Now slowly without touching the mat. Airplane wings, bring the arms by your side and lift the right leg back behind you. Point the right pinky toe down to the mat, level out through the hips. Maybe soften the left leg, your standing leg if you need that. Deep inhale through the nose, lengthen through the neck. Exhale, hold it here. One more time, deep inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat, standing split, lift the right leg high to the sky. Walk your fingers closer to your left foot. Maybe grab onto your left ankle, grabbing the left, wrapping the left forearm behind the left calf. Deep, slow inhale. And hold it here, exhale. And start to bend your top leg, your right leg. Bring the right knee behind the left knee and bend your left knee as well. Push the right knee into the back of the left knee, into your left calf. And come up onto your fingertips. You can stay here or you can lift up the palms into a prayer position. Find your balance. Deep, slow inhale. Exhale. Raise the hands down to the mat. Standing split once again. Let the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring your right knee to the outside of the left ankle. Send the right foot out to the side so you can sit down. Your right ankle is going to come to the outside of the left hip. And your left foot comes to the outside of the right knee. Work on pressing both sit bones down to the mat. Then hug the left knee in with the right hand. And bring the left hand behind your back. Use the left fingers to lift up from the waistline. And twist a little deeper. And if you like, you can hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee and go on to a deeper twist. Slowly come back to center. Bring your hands down to the mat. Place the pressure or the weight onto your left foot. Then come on into a standing split. Just one more breath. Lift the right leg high to the sky. And as you exhale, fold forward at the top of the mat. Now keeping the feet all the, way, all the way together, lift up your heels and cup your heels from behind, stepping onto all 10 fingers. Bend your knees a lot and then see if you can shimmy your forearms behind your calves. Then keeping the connection in between belly and thighs, start to lift the hips up to the ceiling and drop the crown of the head down to the mat, but keep the forearms close together. And work slowly with the breath. So it doesn't matter if you cannot straighten the legs fully, but see if you can keep the connection between the belly and the thighs the whole time. And use the energy of the arms, especially your bicep muscles, to keep pulling onto those heels, lifting the shoulders away from the ears, lifting the shoulder blades up to the ceiling, lengthening through your neck, and creating space in between the vertebrae. Slowly release. Come on down into a malasana, making a two heel our feet all the way, mat distance apart. Your heels are still on the mat, but your toes can hang off of the mat as you squat down into malasana, dropping the sit bones in between the thighs. Bring the hands to your heart center, press the elbows into the inner knees, lift up the chest. Just a little bit of the chin to the chest so you can lengthen through the back of the neck. You're not stressing your upper trap, the back of the neck. Focus on to your slow breath. Now you can stay here for a couple more breaths or come into a little crow pose. Plant the palms down <clears throat> onto the mat, shoulder distance apart, lift the hips, place the knees onto your triceps, lean forward, and then maybe picking the toes away from the mat and bringing them together. Pull the belly in. 
Use your core muscle, use your strong breath. Now from here, you're gonna make our way back into down dog. You can simply step back into down dog, or you can work on sending the feet back and go through a chaturanga, up dog, and down the facing dog. Slow, deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, let it out, let it go. Good job, inhale, gaze forward, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, Urdhva Hastasana, bring your hands back to your heart center, Samastiri. Inhale, chair pose with Katasana, bend the knees, lift up the arms. Exhale, wrap the left elbow underneath the right, so left elbow underneath the right. Eagle pose. You can grab opposite shoulders, coming to a full eagle. Then shift your body weight to the right leg and lift up the left leg to wrap it around the right. Find your eagle here. Bring the elbows and knees in one line, tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly in. Lift the elbows aligned with the shoulders and then reach your forearms sl forearm slightly more forward. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale it out. Deep inhale. Exhale that. Slowly start to round down, bring your elbows down to your knees. Focus on your breath, gaze down at one spot onto your mat. Now lift up your chest, make your flat spine, release the left leg and send it back into an eagle arm airplane. Point the left pinky toe down to the mat, lift the left leg from the left inner thigh, lengthen out from the spine, pull the belly in. Soften your right leg, step back, warrior one. Lift up the arms. Release the arms and reach all the way to the ceiling, warrior one. Exhale, bring the hands onto your hips. Step the left foot back, or just step the left foot closer. So shorten your stand coming into a pyramid pose. The back toes are still in like warrior one position, but you step a little closer to your front foot. Your right toes are still pointing forward. Bring the hands behind your back, grab onto opposite elbows. Press the fists against each other or come into a reverse namaskar. Now engage your right thigh muscle. Feel how you're pressing down to the right big toe, right pinky toe, and the center of the right heel. Then slowly hinge from the hips, start to lean forward. Move slowly, pull the right hip back. Lengthen out from your lower back, pull the belly in, keep the neck nice and long. Pause halfway, pull the right hip back, level out to the hips. And as you exhale, slowly start to go full all the way forward, Bring the forehead down to your right chin. Squeeze the shoulder blades together onto your back. Keep your back foot active. Lift the right hip a little higher. Interlock the hands behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and start to straighten out through the elbows to fall all the way. Lift the fist to the sky. Release the hands down to the mat. Forward fold over your right shin. Maybe walk your hands a little more forward. Press your forehead onto your right shin to use that to press the right shin further back behind you. When gaze forward, plant the palms down to the mat. Come on back into a standing split pose. And here I'm going to give you an option to go upside down into a little handstand. Swing the legs up and see if you can find a little bit of a balance here. Belly pulls in, pull down to the knuckles. Forward fold at the top of the mat. Separate your feet hip distance apart. Grab onto your big toes with the index finger and middle finger. Reach your chest forward as you inhale. Exhale, fold nice and deep. Lift those shoulder blades away from the ears. Push the elbows out to the side. Let the crown of the head to drop. Steady inhale through the nose, steady exhale through the nose. Really, still heel your feet together, big toes to touch, heels to touch. And inhale, come on into chair pose, Utkatasana. Swing your right arm underneath the left arm, eagle on the right side. Shift the body weight over to the left leg, pick up your right foot, wrap it around the left. Kick stand, full bind, whatever you have. Let the elbows align with the shoulders, send the forearms forward, pull the belly in. Squeeze the inner thighs together, squeeze the forearms together. 
and soften the muscles around the face and focus on the breath. Slowly start to lean forward, bring your elbows down to your knees, round through the spine. And slowly lift up the chest. Keep your eagle arm as you release the right leg and send it back behind you for an eagle arm airplane. Your right leg, your lifted leg should be straight. Your left leg, you soften it as much as you need it. Level out through the hips. Pull the belly in. Soften your left knee. And step back into warrior one. Inhale, lift up the arms. And separate your eagle arm, inhale, lift it up, warrior one. Exhale, bring the hands onto your hips, straighten out through the legs, step the back foot in closer. Turn the back toes in just like you were in warrior one. Turn the right hip forward, pull the left hip back. Bring the hands behind your back, grab onto opposite elbows, fist reverse namaskar. Pull the left hip back, root down through the left big toe, left pinky toe, center of the left heel. Lift up the left kneecap so you engage the left thigh. And then slowly start to go forward. Move really slowly. Feel the left hip as you lift it up. Pulling the left thigh bone back into the socket. Your spine stays nice, stays nice and straight. Your neck is nice and long. Pause halfway. Straight up the spine as much as you can. Deep inhale. Exhale, go all the way down. Bring the forehead down to the left shin. Root down to the front and back foot equally. Lift the left thigh bone up into its socket. Press the palms together, squeeze the shoulder blades. Then bring the hands behind your lower back, cross the fingers, place the opposite index finger on top, and then lift the fist up to the ceiling and reach it to the sky. Bring the fingers down to the mat, forward fold. Maybe walk the fingers forward, maybe keep them by your side. You can press the left, or you can press the forehead down onto the left shin and then gently push the left shin back behind you. Gaze forward, plant the palm shoulder distance apart, standing split, lift the right leg high to the sky. And then you can just hold your head standing split or maybe give a couple hops for your handstand, just a couple hops. Or maybe you find a little bit of a moment up in the air or find a little wall. Wherever you are, three more breaths. And slowly release, come to the top of the mat. Forward fold, separate your feet hip distance apart. Slide your palms all the way underneath the feet. Stepping onto the palms. Your toes are touching your wrist crease. Inhale, lift up your gaze, lift up your chest. Exhale, fold mat all the way down. Push the elbows out to the side, lengthen through the back of the neck. Maybe slowly start to straighten it out through the legs a little bit more, softening the backs of the knees towards the back of the mat. And then slowly release. Come on back into either Malasana, Yogi Squat, or you come into another set of Pro Pose. Maybe lifting the toes up. And maybe when I go into a tripod headstand from your Pro Pose, tuck the chin to the chest, release the crown of the head down to the mat. And maybe, as just as an option, lift your legs, your feet up to the ceiling. And then if your legs are up, you can come back into crow pose. From your tripod, in a nice exhale, you push yourself up. And shoot back to your chaturanga. Oof. Up dog. And back to downward facing dog. So if you're Malasana, make your way back into your down dog. Me or Vidada Vinyasa. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up your heart. Exhale, fold forward. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Lift up the arms, bend the knees, drop the thighs. Bring the hands to your heart center, drop the thighs deeper. And cross the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. 
Place your right palm for a second onto your lower back sacrum. Make sure that lower back sacrum is nice and flat, nice and long. You're not twisting in your hips. Then join the palms together. Dropping the thigh bones, opening up through the chest. Now stay here. Maybe fly the arms open. Or squat down for your side crow. As you're in your side, in your side chair, you can plant the palms shoulder distance apart. Place the knees onto the outside of the left tricep. Spread the fingers. Then lean into your chaturanga arms and maybe pick up your feet. Bring the big toes to touch. You come back to center. Fold, forward fold. Straight onto the legs. Just for a breath, keep the feet together. Then inhale back to chair pose with Katasana. Lift up the arms, drop the thighs. Bring your hands to your heart center. Lean forward, hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Place the left hand onto your lower back sacrum, fix the situation there. Keep the hips level. Lengthen out from your lower back, then join the palms together. Either stay here in your twist, fly the arms open, or squat down into that side crow pose, planting the palms down onto the mat, shoulder distance apart, lift the hips. So you can place the outside of the left knee onto your right tricep. Then lean into your chaturanga arms and pick up your feet. Release forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, chair pose with Kadasana, lift up the arms. Interlock the hands, bring the arms by your side first, and then interlock the hands behind your back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Draw the thigh bones deeper, lengthen through the neck, inhale, lift up the arms, bring the hands to your heart center, lift the heels away from the mat, come onto your tippy toes, balance onto your toes as you slowly drop the hips deeper, and deeper, and deeper, drop it all the way down, and then all the way sit down onto your mat, both pose Navasana, lean back enough, Balance in between the sit bones and the tailbone. Lift the shin bones, make the shin bones parallel to the mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades, really pull the belly in, then reach the arms forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lift up your sternum. Deep, slow inhale. Exhale, slowly straighten the legs and come down into Ardha Navasana, low boat pose. Exhale, come back into your boat pose, Navasana. You can straighten the legs if you like, but keep the spine long. Exhale, slowly come down, low boat pose. When you get there, straighten the legs. Toes and eyes in one line. Shoulder blades lifted away from the mat. Feet are lifted away from the mat. Pull the belly into the spine, deep inhale. Hold with your exhale. One more inhale. We go back into boat pose, Navasana. Maybe straight legs, lift it all the way up, deep inhale, and exhale. Come on back down into your low boat pose, good. Now pull the right knee in, bring the right knee over the right hip, interlock the hands, steeple grip, release the index finger across your thumbs, and exhale, reach to the outside of the right leg. And exhale, one more time, up, shh, back down, exhale, back up, shh, down, exhale, back up, shh. Now reach your right leg forward, reach the arms forward, low boat. Lift up the left leg, bring the left knee over the left hip, interlock the hands, release the index finger, cross your thumb, exhale, lift up. Inhale, release, exhale, lift up. Inhale, release, exhale, lift up. Inhale, release, exhale, lift up. And inhale, release, come on back into your low boat pose, or in Navasana, we're gonna go back into boat pose, Exhale, rise up, both pose, Navasana, maybe straight on those legs, hold it here. And slowly cross the ankles, plant the palms, step or jump back into your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg up. Point the toe, lift it nice and high. Bend the knee, point the right knee to the ceiling, but shine your right shoulder down to the mat. Exhale, pull the knee to your nose. And step the right leg all the way forward into a low lunge. 
dropping the left knee down, slide the left knee back behind you. Inhale, lift up the arms into your crescent moon. Lift up from the waistline, allow the hips to sink down to the mat with a beautiful opening in the front or left hip bone as you hug the right hip back to the center line. Deep inhale and exhale. Bring the hands to your heart center, lean forward, hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Pull the right hip back into the center line. Now slowly tuck the back toes, the left toes under. And as slow as you can, staying in your twist, start to lift the left kneecap away from the mat. Left heel is pointing straight back behind you. Your twist is not coming in your heels on your hips. It comes from the waistline. So when you inhale, lengthen up from your lower back. And as you exhale, soften the belly and twist more to the right. And then release both hands to the inside of the right foot coming to, coming to runner's lunge. You can keep your back knee lifted. You can drop the left knee down. You can also come down onto your forearms. All the way down into your lizard. Even if you're down onto your forearms, you can still lift the knee away from the mat. Five more breaths. You can do roll to the outer edge of the right foot, letting the right knee to fall out to the side. Feel a different stretch in your hips. And roll the right foot back. Come on back onto your palms. Drop the left knee down. If it's not there yet, reach the right arm back. Bend your left knee, capture the foot or ankle. Release. Half split pose. Bring the right foot back to center in between the palms. Then shift the body weight back. Straighten out to the right leg. Flex the right foot. Lift up from the waistline. Try to create a flat spine here as much as possible. And again, really good to use two blocks here to frame the shin. So you can focus on the length of the spine. The blocks can give you a nice little lift here. Deep, slow inhale and exhale. Rebend your right leg, make your way back all the way into a downward facing dog. Hips high to the sky. Skip a vinyasa or add one. Maybe a couple extra push ups or keeping the right leg lifted as you go through your vinyasa. Inhale your left leg high to the sky. Point your toe, lift it nice and high. Bend the left knee. Point the left knee to the ceiling as much as possible. Then shine your left shoulder down to the mat. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale and exhale. Then step the left leg all the way forward into a low lunge. Drop the right knee down, slide your right knee back. Inhale, rise up high, crescent moon or crescent moon pose. Not the high one. Pull the left hip back, turn the right hip forward. Feeling the opening in the right hip flexor, the front of right hip bone. Deep inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands to your heart center, lean forward. Hold the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Join the palms together. Lengthen out from your lower back. Inhale, exhale, twist. Now just tuck the back toes under, the right toes under. Point the right heel straight back. Then slowly as you can, start to lift the right kneecap away from the mat. your back heel all the way to the crown of the head. Find that nice long line. Three more breaths here. Bring the hands down onto the mat. Bring them to the inside of the left foot. Coming into a runner's lunge here. Stay onto your palms. Drop the right knee down. Come down onto your forearms. Maybe lift up the knee, the back knee. And after a couple breaths, you can also roll to the outer arch of the left foot. So plenty of options. Try to do the same thing what you did on the other side. Roll to the outer arch of the left foot. Let the left knee fall out to the side if you did that on the other side. Softening the muscles around the face, your jaw. Just focusing on your steady, slow breath in and out through the nose. Roll your left foot back. If you're down onto the forearms, come on back onto your palms. Drop the right knee down. If it's not there yet, reach the left arm back. 
Bend your back leg, reach back for your foot or ankle. Lift up from the right side shoulder. And then as you kick into your right or the left palm with the right foot, then roll the left shoulder to the ceiling. Open up. Release. Bring your left foot center in between the palms and straighten out to the left leg as you come into your half split or the Hanumanasana. Lift up from the waistline, pull the left foot back into its socket, flex the left foot, deep, slow inhale. Exhale, maybe go a little bit deeper, lengthen out from the spine, really engage your core, deep inhale. Mm, exhale. Good job, we bend your left leg. Now make your way back all the way into a down dog. Step back, go through a vinyasa, or skip the vinyasa, just simply stretch back into your downward facing dog. Release the knees down to the mat. Hero's pose, Virasana. Bring the knees close together, bring your feet mat distance apart, or maybe not all the way mat distance apart, but a little wider so your hips can drop down in between the heels. If you need, you can grab a block, sit onto the block, Hug the ankles in to frame that block and just sit onto the block the whole time. If you can sit down onto the mat, then I like to grab my calf muscles, kind of spin them out to the side, and then shimmy my sit bones in between the heels until my sit bones are firmly down onto the mat. So if you look at the thigh bones, it starts right in the middle here. It goes straight to the knee, to the center of the knee. So instead of like forcing the knees to really, really touch, make sure these thigh bones are parallel and they're pointing straight forward. So you can sit straight up, sitting here. That could be already enough and plenty. Or you can come down onto your forearms and that could be it for today. Or maybe you want to go all the way down to your back and then grab your elbows behind you. Five more breaths. Work those knees to point straight forward and just gently, not forcing, press them down towards the mat. Feel an opening, a stretch in your frontal thighs. But if it's ever painful, if you feel like, my knees are not doing really well in this pose, then maybe do a low lunge in this position. Low lunge is a really great pose that won't bother your knees. And of course, you can need to switch in between sides if you choose to do your low lunge. Three more breaths. And then slowly rise up. If you are all the way down, gently and slowly come on all the way back. Plant the hands down, come on into a tabletop position, all fours. Tap your feet down a couple of times, sending some fresh blood into the, into the feet. And then stay in a tabletop position, inhale your right arm high to the sky. And as you exhale, thread the needle, bring the right arm underneath the body, turning the right palm to the ceiling. Your spine is long, lift the left arm high to the sky, bend the top arm and reach back behind your back. Rolling the left shoulder up to the ceiling, deep inhale, hold it here as you exhale. Now maybe you want to pick up the left foot, maybe the left knee, and then stretch it all the way up to the ceiling. That's just an option. And wherever you are, just focus on to the breath. It's not about the pose, it's all about the breath, the connection with yourself. And then gently, slowly release the left leg. If you lifted it up, open up from the bind. Release the left palm, press it down to the mat. Push yourself up and inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, your left arm high, open up. Exhale, turn and twist. Bring the left shoulder, left ear down to the mat. Hips over the knee, inhale, right arm high to the sky. Spine is long and reach your right arm back behind you. Stay here or maybe pick up your right knee, right foot, and then stretch it all the way up to the ceiling. Slowly and mindfully release the right foot, right knee down to the mat. Open up from the bind. 
Press the right palm down to the earth. Inhale your left arm high. And exhale, come on back down, tabletop position. Inhale, lift up the gaze. And exhale, the right hand gaze back to your knee wall. And come on down all the way onto your belly. Bring your arms into a goal pose position, like cactus arm. Your elbows align with the shoulders. Press the tops of your feet down to the mat. Keep the neck long, gaze down. Inhale, lift up the chest. Lift up the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together onto your back. Press down through the tops of your feet as you lift up the kneecaps. Hold it here. Bring the arms by your side, turn the palms down, straighten out through the elbows, and lift one more rib away from the mat. And if you can, if you like, lift the legs up and away from the mat, but keep the legs as straight as you can. Lift the legs from the, in, from the shin bones and keep them straight. Spin the inner thighs to the ceiling, engage your glutes. Interlock the hands behind your back, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift up your fist away from the glutes and keep the neck long. And exhale, release it down. Gaze to the right, left cheek is down onto the mat. Big toes to touch, heels falling out to the side. Slow inhale, feeling of the whole body and a slow exhale, releasing everything out. Come back to center, one more round, same thing. Bring the elbows into a cactus position. Inhale, lift up the chest, press down to the tops of your feet. Keep gazing down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Turn on the muscles onto your back. Bring the arms by your side. Turn the palms down, thumbs out. Neck is still long, you're still gazing down. Add your feet, add your legs. Lift the lift, legs from the shin bones, keeping the legs straight. Point your toes back, lengthen out from your lower back. Interlock the hands, placing the opposite index finger on top. Lift the fist away from the glutes. Engage the glutes. Lift it up. Lift up one more rib. Hold it here. And slowly release that gaze to the left. Right cheek comes down to the mat. Big toes to touch. Heels falling out to the side. Deep inhale. And exhale. Then bring the chin back. Then bring the forehead back to center. Bring the arms out to the side. Your fingers are aligned with the shoulders. Then bend your left arm, bring the left palm down into the mat next to your shoulder, and then start to roll all the way over your right shoulder. Now your right finger naturally wants to come down towards the right glute. Don't let that happen. Keep the right fingers aligned with the shoulders. Maybe place the sole of the left foot down to the mat. As you're placing just gently and mindfully with the breath, a little more pressure onto the right shoulder. You can go as deep as you want. You can even roll more deeper into the pose and maybe place both soles of the feet down onto the mat. But be gentle, be mindful. And you can also reach the left arm back and see if you can find the right fingers and interlock the hands behind your back. And good, gently roll back to center. Mm, feels good. And then reach the arms out to the side and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Bring the right palm next to your right shoulder. Keep the left fingertips aligned with the left shoulder and start to roll all the way out to the, over the left shoulder. And again, pick up, choose an option. Try to choose the same one that you did on the other side. Maybe the sole of the right foot comes down to the mat. Maybe keep rolling and the sole of the left foot comes onto the mat as well. Maybe interlock the hands behind your back. Don't stop breathing. Slow, steady breath in and out through the nose. And slowly and gently, come on back up. Good job. And press yourself back into a child's pose. Knees wide, big toes to touch. Stretch out through the lower back. And rise back up, we're going to do a hip opener, so I'm going to do a half pigeon pose, but if you prefer to do a double pigeon, go mukasana, simple cross-legged, or maybe come back down onto your back and then do a figure four, that's perfectly fine. So for your half pigeon pose, down dog, inhale, right leg high, exhale, swing the right leg forward, right ankle goes behind the left wrist, the right knee goes behind the right wrist, point the left toes back, deep inhale. And exhale, melt all the way forward. Five more breaths on this side. 
See if you can soften the muscles around the right hip joint. Soften the muscles around the forehead, around the jaw. Allow the tongue to fall away from the roof of the mouth. Deepening the breath. Come on back onto your palms. And if you're in your half pigeon pose, you can tuck the back toes under, lift the right leg high to the sky. Downward facing dog, lift the left leg up. Or just simply switch sides if you do in your double pigeon. Gomukasana, figure four onto your back. Softening the muscles around the left hip joint. Allowing the whole body to rest, to let go. To open up. See if you can soften all the muscle around the left hip joint. And let go of the tension. Three more breaths here. Gently make your way back. Rise up. Maybe down dog. We're coming down onto a mat. Sitting down into the mat, Dandasana, seated staff pose, stretch the legs all the way in front of you, pull the belly in, arms by your side, roll the shoulders back, flex your feet, inhale, lift up the arms, lift up from the waistline, reach up, exhale, fold all the way forward, Paschimottanasana, seated, forward fold. Inhale, rise back up, bend your knees, and slowly come on all the way down onto your mat. Roll back one vertebrae at a time. Hug the knees to your chest, give yourself a squeeze, a hug. Happy baby soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. Grab from the inside of the knees, your outer arches of the feet. Maybe stretch the legs out, maybe keep the knees bent. Make sure the lower back is down onto the earth. You're tucking the chin to the chest. The back of the skull is pressing down to the mat. Lift the legs up to the sky, arms by your side, and slowly, one inch at a time, lower those legs down to the mat. Separate them hip distance apart. Turn the palms to the ceiling. Shimmy the shoulder blades closer together. Tuck the chin to the chest. Deep inhale through the nose. Mm, slowly let it out as you exhale. One more time, deep inhale. Slowly let it out as you exhale. Seal the lips and take rest. Shavasana. time today to stay in your shavasana for a little longer please stay here as long as you like if you're ready to move on turn your head to the right to the left move your fingers move your toes rolling out the wrists the ankles then reaching the arms all the way up and overhead exhale hold the knees to your chest and gently roll over to your right or left side. Now make your way all the way into a comfortable seated position. Cross the shins, right at the center, bring the hands to your heart center. Allow your thumbs to touch, touch your heart, feeling your beating heart. Let the thumbs in between the eyebrows. 
Gently let the gaze to the ceiling, blink your eyes open. And together we bow forward. Sealing into a practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for showing up today. Thank you for practicing with me today. It's always my pleasure to be here, to be your guide. So you can come back anytime here. At